Okay, in this one, we're going to demonstrate a pilot dropout. Now, you can see that pilot. It's covering the thermocouple real good. And if I wanted to test this thing, the best way to test to see if it, if when the pilot goes out, that it actually shuts off gas supply. That's what we're. That's what the pilot and the thermocouples assembly is for. Uh, primarily the thermocouple assembly. It has to be warm enough to provide a little power to the gas valve to hold the valve open. Well, what we're going to do here is we're going to blow out the pilot and then we're going to wait. Okay, we're going to blow the pilot out. And we've started our time clock. Now all you're going to hear is a light click. So listen close. Okay, if you heard that, it was about 120 some seconds, or <laughs> a minute and 20, we'll call it a minute and 24 seconds. Okay, that was within the three minute period. If it went longer than three minutes, the gas valve has failed, and it's not safe enough to use. If it had dropped off and say, oh... 10-15 seconds, then we either have a weak thermocouple or we have a uh, pilot light that is not covering the uh, thermocouple. Or it's dirty or something like that. Anyway, that's about right where it should be. You should be timing these things every time you service one of them to make sure that the pilot drops out. Now the one last thing you do, now the gas has been on this entire time it's only just pilot gas that's been on however I'm gonna come back here with my happy little flame I'm gonna to try to relight the pilot it's not gonna light if it does light it means it did not shut off completely so we uh, have to try to relight that pilot once we've shut it down